hi there this video lecture is about deducing number of protons neutrons and electrons in atoms and simple ions by using proton number and nucleon number let us get started we know that there are three subatomic particles which mainly constitute atoms and the set of uh, these three subatomic particles for an atom is called its subatomic composition so subatomic composition of uh, atoms it consists of uh, protons neutrons and electrons this set of uh, three subatomic particles for atoms and ions is called their uh, subatomic composition in order to work out the subatomic composition of the given atom or ion it is very important to know its proton number and uh, nucleon number now let us learn how to work out the subatomic composition of an atom we know that atoms are neutral particles and each atom is uh, characterized by its uh, proton number denoted by z and a nucleon number denoted by capital A both these numbers are written along with the chemical symbol of the element to have the atomic symbol for that element if we express the chemical symbol of an element by capital X the number written at the bottom left of this symbol is uh, the proton number and the number written on the top left is uh, the nucleon number so this is the general way to express the atoms of uh, elements and this entire thing is called as atomic symbol now let us uh, take some particular examples atomic symbol of beryllium is 4be9 of carbon is 6c12 of fluorine is 9f19 of phosphorus is 15p31 of uranium is 92u238 etc if both z and a are known for an atom its subatomic composition can be worked out as we know that z directly gives the number of protons sitting in the nucleus of atom since atoms are electrically neutral so same number of electrons would be revolving around the nucleus so z also directly gives the number of electrons for atoms whereas we know that nucleon number which is denoted by capital a it is equal to number of protons in the nucleus of an atom along with the number of neutrons from this expression we can calculate number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom by subtracting proton number from the nucleon number so by doing these simple calculations we now will be having a set of uh, definite number of protons neutrons and electrons for that atom which is called its uh, subatomic composition now let us uh, deal with certain examples our first example is 9f19 this is a fluorine atom and for this it is obvious that z is 9 and its nucleon number is 19 from this data we can determine the protons present in the nucleus of uh, fluorine as 9 electrons as 9 since atoms are neutral particles but the neutrons would be equal to a minus z and that is 19 minus 9 equals 10 now the set of numbers which indicates that uh, an atom of fluorine has uh, 9 protons in its nucleus 9 electrons revolving in its shells and 10 neutrons sitting in its nucleus this set of numbers or subatomic particles is the subatomic composition of uh, fluorine let us have another example 92u238 it is the atomic symbol of uh, uranium atom from this atomic symbol it is obvious that proton number is 92 and nucleon number which is also called as uh, mass number is 238 92 protons in its nucleus and 92 electrons revolving in shells around the nucleus of uranium 238 and neutrons would be mass number minus proton number 
and that is uh, figured out to be 146 now this set of uh, subatomic particles for uh, uranium is called its uh, subatomic composition this is subatomic composition of uranium 238 now let us move on to determination of subatomic composition of uh, an ion before proceeding let us look at the term ion ion is uh, defined as an electrically charged particle originated when an atom or group of atoms gains or loses electron or electrons here we will be discussing about the subatomic composition of only those ions which have been originated from single atoms if an ion is originated from a single atom then it is called as a simple ion it is very important to know that during ion formation nothing enters in or uh, goes out of the nucleus of the atom therefore Z that is proton number and A that is nucleon number stays the same as the parent atom had it is only the number of electrons that varies during ion formation so an ion has only different number of electrons from the parent atom ion is of two kinds number one cation and number two anion cation is positively charged ion whereas anion is a negatively charged ion before determining their subatomic composition let us look at uh, the formation of uh, cation and anion cation is a positively charged ion that arises when an atom loses one or more electrons generally metal atoms they tend to lose their valence electrons and acquire nearest noble gas electronic configuration since electrons carry negative electrical charge therefore loss of one or more electrons from a neutral atom results in the formation of a positively charged ion or cation quantity of a positive charge on a cation that is always equal to the number of electrons lost by the parent atom during ionization process now let us uh, have some examples first example is uh, potassium ion potassium ion has uh, one plus electrical charge on it the quantity of uh, electrical charge indicates that uh, potassium atom has undergone a loss of one electron to form potassium one plus ion parent atom of a potassium ion has the atomic symbol 19 K 39 it has undergone a loss of one electron as a result of this it develops one plus electrical charge on it since potassium atom has undergone loss of one electron therefore now it has uh, 18 electrons left with it with electronic arrangement of 2 8 and 8 whereas potassium atom that was uh, neutral carrying uh, zero electrical charge its electronic configuration was 2 8 8 and 1 now the subatomic composition of a potassium 1 plus ion would be protons in its nucleus 19 neutrons 39 minus 19 equals 20 and electrons 19 minus 1 since it has undergone loss of one electron that is 18 so this set of uh, subatomic particles is the subatomic composition of uh, potassium 1 plus ion let us have another example say aluminum 3 plus ion it is obvious from its uh, electrical charge that aluminum atom has lost three electrons from its valence shell and this ion has been originated from uh, aluminum atom atomic symbol of uh, aluminum or aluminum is 13 al 27 it has uh, undergone a loss of three electrons electronic configuration of uh, aluminum atom is 283 after having lost three electrons it is left with the complete octet and now its electronic configuration is uh, 28 since its proton number is 13 therefore aluminum cation would be having 13 
protons in its nucleus whereas 14 14 neutrons would be sitting in its uh, nucleus and only 10 electrons would be revolving in the planetary of uh, aluminum 3 plus cation so this is the subatomic composition of uh, aluminum 3 plus cation now let us uh, move on to the working of subatomic composition of anions since anions are negatively charged ions therefore such ions would be formed when an atom gains one or more electrons so an anion forms when an atom gains one or more electrons generally non metal atoms they tend to gain electrons and form anions non metal atoms they also do so to have the nearest noble gas electronic configuration in their valence shells now the quantity of negative charge on an anion it is always equal to the number of electrons gained by the parent atom now let us have uh, some examples first example is chloride ion it is uni negatively charged ion means it has uh, one minus charge on it the quantity of negative charge indicates that chlorine which is the parent atom with the atomic symbol of uh, 17 cl 35 say which is the stable isotope of uh, chlorine relatively more stable isotope of uh, chlorine it has converted into chloride ion by taking up one electron from the chemical system now the electronic configuration of uh, chlorine is first shell has two electrons second shell has uh, eight electrons and third shell has uh, seven electrons so after gaining one electron it has converted into chloride ion so now its electronic configuration would be two eight and eight it is now with uh, 18 electrons now the subatomic composition of a chloride ion would be since its proton number is uh, 17 therefore it has uh, 17 protons sitting in its nucleus whereas neutrons would be 35 minus 17 equals 18 and electrons would be 17 plus 1 because it has gained one electron so 18 it has uh, 18 electrons revolving in the planetary of uh, its nucleus so this is uh, the subatomic composition of uh, chloride ion let us take an example of oxide ion its formula is o2 minus atomic symbol of oxygen is 8o16 o16 is the most stable isotope of uh, oxygen since it has converted into an ion with minus 2 charge so it is obvious that it has uh, gained two electrons from the reaction mixture electronic configuration of oxygen atom is 2 6 after having gained two electrons the resulting species would be with uh, 10 electrons now and its electronic arrangement would be now 2 8 so oxide ion is now with the uh, 10 electrons its subatomic composition can be written with the help of uh, number of electrons gained proton number of oxygen and its nucleon number since its proton number is uh, 8 therefore there would be 8 protons sitting in the nucleus of oxide ion and 8 neutrons would be there in the nucleus along with the 8 protons 16 minus 8 equals 8 and there would be now 10 electrons revolving around the nucleus of oxide ion so this is the subatomic composition of oxide ion if you like the video please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that upcoming video lecture on chemistry may not be missed sharing is requested too thanks for watching